In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can access hundreds of thousands of graphics, fonts, vectors, and so much more. Let's jump in. The site is called Creative Fabrica. This is what it looks like. You've got a lot of things trending on the front page. You've got menus at the top and it can be a little overwhelming when you first log in. You're like, well, okay, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to look? I will put a link to Creative Fabrica in the video description below. And just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means that if you click on the link and you purchase something, I would receive a small commission. I do want to point out Creative Fabrica has a menu at the top that's pretty straightforward, but over on the far right hand side, there's a freebies menu. And when you click on it, you're going to see a front page with a bunch of freebies on it. And then the freebies ends. You can see down here at the bottom, there's no more. I want to point out on the top right of this page right here, you can view all 286,000 freebies by clicking this link. So I'm gonna walk through first how you can download a graphic for use in print on demand or if you're using it for graphic design, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna scroll on down here and I'm going to see if I can find a good looking graphic. And we can see right here, we've got free 20 Halloween t-shirt bundle. When I click on it, this is gonna come up. Now I'm not even logged in to create a fabric at this point but you can download this for free. When you click on it, it will ask you to log in. Okay, so when you click on the link to any of the free assets, you're gonna see this big green download button. Now I've logged in, so everything on the website is going to have no price attached to it. You're just gonna see I can just download anything, but you'll see here, this is free, this is part of the freebies. I'm gonna click the download button. You can see here now when I click on the download, it's gonna give me a compressed folder that I can download. When I click save, it's going to start downloading now in your web browser. Now inside of Windows Explorer, I've gone to the folder and I can see I have a zip folder. So I'm gonna double click on the zip folder and it's going to open up all of the different subfolders. I'm simply gonna click on one of them and do Control A and that's going to highlight everything. I'm gonna right click and copy and then I'm just gonna simply back out and then paste them. So you're just gonna copy them, paste them into a new folder, and we can see here all of the different folders that were completely free. So I'm going to go uh, into this one here, Feeling Wicked, and we can see there's an AI file, which is an Affinity Designer file, an EPS, a PDF, a PNG, and an SVG. I'm just gonna to go to large icons so you can see it a bit better. And we can see here the PNG file is a pretty nice clean file. There's also vectors you can open up and EPS files and so on. If you'd like to download a font, you can do that as well. So I'm on the main page. I'm gonna go here to freebies and click on it. And then from here, I can actually segregate this out. I can do all freebies or I can do free fonts, free SVG files, free graphics. I'm gonna click on free fonts. And now it's only going to show me the free fonts. These are all completely free. They're good for commercial use. I'm gonna scroll on down and find a good looking font. All right, I like this one here, this neon sign. I'm gonna click on it. So here's the neon sign font. You can see there's some cool thumbnails. I'm gonna click on this download button right here. Okay, now I'm inside of Microsoft Explorer. I'm gonna double click on my zip folder. And I'm gonna see that I get two different types of fonts, an open type and a true type. I recommend trying the open type one first. It's typically a bit more robust if you're using Windows. I'm simply gonna copy it. So I'm gonna click on it, Control C to copy. I'm gonna click outside my zip folder and right click and paste. So now I've got my folder that's holding my font and my zip folder. Now to install the font is really, really easy. I've got my font file and I'm just gonna double click it. It's gonna open up. So here's my font file and I'm gonna click this install button, that's it. You're gonna see a little pop-up window, it pops up off screen, it just says installing. So the name of this font is called Neon Sign. So I've opened up Word and I've typed in some text here. I'm gonna make the text nice and big, and now I'm going to select my font. And we can see Neon Font Sign right there. That looks pretty nice. When you're in the freebie section on Creative Fabrica, you can also look for free SVGs. So I'm gonna click on that. Now it'll filter out, I've got about 740 SVG files. And the reason I like SVG files is they're really clean to use on t-shirt graphics or for graphic design. So here I've got You Are My Cup of Tea. You can see a nice little mock-up and I'm gonna click on the download button and it will open up a compressed folder same as before. I'll click Save. Now inside Microsoft Explorer here, I've got my compressed folder. I'm gonna double click it. It'll open up a file folder and inside that file folder, I've got a couple different vector files there's a PNG file as well, and then a couple different vectors. So I'm simply gonna highlight everything, control C to copy. I'll get outside of my folder, I'll paste. So now I'm inside of Inkscape, and Inkscape is a free vector tool. You can download it 
for free from Inkscape.org. Very easy to use. I'm gonna go here to file and open. I'm gonna open up my vector. Okay, so inside of my SVG folder, I'm now looking for my SVG file. It says here on my computer, Microsoft Edge HTML document. I'm gonna click open and we can see now this is my vector. When I click on it, I can go into edit paths by node and I can see this is an actual true vector. I can move the vector nodes around and I can make this great if I'm using a Cricut machine or some sort of a silhouette cameo, or if I just wanna make a very clean t-shirt graphic, I can modify these as needed. Now imagine if you access the images, I've got all these different graphics, PNGs, mockups, cartoons, and so on, and imagine if all of this was free to use, all inclusive. Here I'm scrolling through, I'm gonna click on some random design that's not part of the freebies, and we can see I can just download it. It's not even asking me for a price or anything like that, and the reason for that is because I have the all access subscription inside of Creative Fabrica. So I'm gonna put a link to that in the video description below. I think it's a great deal, probably the best deal or one of the best deals in the print on demand world. Make sure to check it out. Lots of free items. So you can really wet your whistle inside of Creative Fabric. I hope you found this helpful. Don't be intimidated because it's a big website with lots of stuff. You can access a ton of free items and have a ton of fun doing graphic design and working in print on demand. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the print on demand space.